Imagine a world without cell phones, a world without the internet, a world devoid of any form of communication technology. Impossible, right? Now that we have established that communication technology is indispensable, it is important to understand the technology that supports telecommunication. One such company that continues to provide third party support to multiple telecom companies is Global Group Enterprise called GTL Infrastructure Limited. GTL Infrastructure's parent company GTL has been existent for last about 30 years. Since uh, beginning of uh, cellular infrastructure services in India, GTL was working with almost all the operators to build, maintain, to plan their network since 1995. Uh, we were called as EPC contractors, ONM providers for all the services that telecom operators require for its life cycle. GTL infrastructure is essentially telecom infrastructure sharing uh, company. We provide passive infrastructure to all the telecom operators in India uh, to house their equipment at our premises. The Indian telecom industry is one of the fastest growing and perhaps the most competitive in the world with its tariff being among the lowest in the world. This gave Global Group an opportunity to tap into an uncharted territory in the telecommunication business. In 2002 onwards, when uh, the prices of uh, GSM services started going down, we felt there was an opportunity. The opportunity was to provide uh, infrastructure in rural India, on highways, uh, on low-scale cities, and also some bit in major cities to provide infrastructure, passive infrastructure especially, and maintain it over a period of time, which operators can then come and share like plug and play. As we grew, this business uh, became our primary business. Over a period of time, uh, when we started in 2002-2003, this business was done a little bit in GTA, but in 2005-2006, we split open our companies and created GTA infrastructure which then had uh, about 800-900 sites. With a portfolio of about 3 lakh towers along the length and breadth of the country, GTL Infrastructure Limited is a leading player in the business of shared passive telecom infrastructure in India. We provision uh, space for uh, uh, telecom operators. For this, uh, the telecom operators pay uh, an infrastructure provisioning fee, which is a monthly fee or rental to us as, as uh, a provisioning fee. Along with this, uh, we also have to ensure, uh, as a tower company, uh, un uninterrupted uh, power supply. Historically, there have been battery banks which still continue. Uh, there have been uh, uh, DG sets, uh, as and when the battery drains out, you have DG sets which uh, ensure uh, supply of electricity for the active equipment to keep uh, humming and radiating. And that's how you get connected to the cell site. Being the first point of contact for consumers, a company like GTL Infrastructure plays an essential role as the backbone that supports Digital India by bringing in connectivity at affordable prices to the poorest of poor, thereby creating a positive impact on the Indian economy. Uh, cell site uh, has both the active, active equipment which has been installed by the, by the telcos or the operators and the passive infrastructure. There are two types of telecom towers, uh, ground-based towers uh, which are uh, installed on the ground and give the requ requisite height to an operator to install his antennas. Uh, and second are rooftop towers. Uh, in urban areas, you have natural height given by buildings or any other structures. So smaller towers installed on top uh, are rooftop towers. These towers uh, are passive infrastructure. GTL infrastructure was always focused from the beginning in providing passive infrastructure at the rural site. 
what happens at rural side is that traffic is less and the uh, ability of one operator to pay for its costs are much lesser than what it could be in city. So as a strategy, we moved into rural areas, though we took a little bit of capital risk at that point of time. But we provided this infrastructure to most of the operators. So currently, at about a third of our infrastructure, we are in rural areas. We have tenancy of about two and a half, three, which means at least three or four operators are able to beam their signals and provide these services, provide access to digital networks to this rural area through our infrastructure. That's how we, we think we are key in providing backbone to uh, digital India concepts in India. The company's business model is based on building, owning, operating and maintaining the passive telecom infrastructure sites which are capable of hosting multiple service providers. The model enables the operator to convert their capital expenditure to a fixed and predictable operational expenditure allowing them to divert precious capital towards core activities. Almost two hours from GTL Infrastructure's headquarters is its network operations center that maintains a 24 by 7 check on all network activities on GTL's whopping 30,000 towers. The network service providers, the mobile service providers want to have their network up and running on a 24 by 7 basis. So through this network operations center, we ensure that these networks which provide services to all the mobile users is been available and uh, monitored 24 by 7 and we go back to them with any such kind of issues and problems as and when it arises. So in nutshell basically it's a very strong backbone to ensure that the availability and uptime of a network is maintained. GTL Infrastructure's nerve center at Pune houses the best-in-class networking systems that power its remote network management services. So here we have deployed uh, a best-in-class uh, technology architecture which comprises of uh, the high-end IBM Blade servers with a virtualization facility. Uh, we have also deployed the high-end Cisco switching and routing equipment along with the uh, essential security architecture because that is also very important when you provide uh, best-in-class services. Uh, besides that, if you actually see the infrastructure, it is quite resilient and it is quite scalable. It is quite flexible because the customer needs keeps changing. You know, so we as a service provider should be in a position to respond uh, in a quickest possible time to ensure that either there is a upgradation of certain services or the number of uh, people who operate from here can be put into different uh, uh, shift structure, you know, so that kind of a flexibility we can offer. By virtue of the best in class technology architecture what we have, the entire center can perform at a extremely high available and a performing level. Supported by this world class setup, the NOC offers a large bouquet of services to GTL Infrastructure's telecom partners Pan India. See the core services are from Network Operation Center revolves around providing uh, real time network surveillance and monitoring for the various operators uh, which are consuming these services. Uh, it, it also offers the fault management. It also takes care of the performance management. It also offers uh, services uh, like preventive ma uh, maintenance management. Uh, it also takes care of the vendor coordination and a third party uh, escalations. You know. And also uh, we can provide managed BCP and uh, disaster recovery services. Its team of 270 engineers work round the clock in shifts monitoring more than 5 lakh alarms and generating as many as 9000 tickets across telecom circles on any given day. NOC works 24 by 7. So there are different shifts the people come in based on the requirement and the team here is actually organized as per the respective circle which are required by the monitoring purpose. So the team here monitors, the individual in that team monitors the network 24 by 7 and based on the alarm category, you know, we convert that into a specific uh, fault or a specific problem which has been registered in the uh, ticketing tool. We use world class tool called Remedy. Once the ticket is opened in the Remedy system, it automatically dispatches the SMS alert to the respective technician and the technician when he receives that it confirmed back to the network operation center that he is now moving to that respective site for taking care of the issue and 
in a timely manner he ensures that the site is restored and that is confirmed back to the NOC. That's how we can close the respective ticket. With cities getting smarter and the number of users already at its peak, GTL's Network Operations Center is prepared to scale up its operations whenever the need arises. Today, when we are monitoring remotely the functioning of a diesel generator or we are monitoring the functioning of a air, air conditioning equipment, uh, why it is so? Because they are digitally enabled. So the same network operation center can take care of internet of the things and, and moving on, it can actually touch your and my life on a daily basis because now we are talking about smarter cities and smarter homes. Because telecom essentially would play a very uh, key role as an enabling platform because of the network connectivity or a mobile connectivity which will be available at every town and city. Telecom towers form the backbone of wireless networks and provide last-mile connectivity to subscribers. This segment of the telecom sector has witnessed rapid growth thanks to GTL Infrastructure's pioneering role in shaping the industry. As we grew till 2008, we reached uh, 6,000, 7,000 infrastructure uh, sites uh, all across India. But then uh, we felt that size in this business and availability of infrastructure would mean we could talk to our customers at a larger scope. So we then bought uh, air sales about 17,500 sites at about 8,000 crores in those days, which was the major move from us and we became then about 30,000 uh, sites pan-India infrastructure player which we are trying to now improve. Uh, the basic job now is to make it more efficient, improve uptime of the network and bringing more customers there so that the whole project is more successful, more financially viable than it was before. Despite the telecom sector suffering several setbacks in the last few years, GTL infrastructure has managed to carve a niche for itself and is the first telecom tower company to get listed on the Indian Stock Exchange making it the leading independent telecom tower company in India. And according to its CEO, the future outlook is positive for the telecom tower business. The telecom sector has gone through turbulent times uh, in the last three years. Uh, due to various factors uh, like the 2G scam, uh, the license cancellation, as well as general negative sentiments in the capital markets. Tower companies, uh, as you know, uh, are largely dependent on uh, telcos or operators for their tenancies, uh, i.e. revenue. During the recent uh, Spectrum auction of uh, March 2015, most of the telcos or operators managed to hold on to their turf. Uh, they retained their existing Spectrum, which were due to expire. Uh, they have also won uh, new Spectrum in higher frequencies. Post the auction, the uh, telcos uh, have uh, aggressive roll-up plans, uh, not just uh, in the current 2G voice network, but uh, some of the operators have uh, very aggressive plans for rolling out both 3G as well as LTE or 4G uh, networks pan-India. This is good news for uh, us as GTL Infrastructure. This positive outlook is based on the growth drivers that could potentially open up distinct opportunities for GTL Infrastructure Limited and other players in the telecom towers business. There are five main uh, growth drivers uh, for GTL Infrastructure this year and for the subsequent two or three years. Uh, number one, growth in data coupled with uh, drop in smartphone prices. This according to me means a uh, large number of tenancies for GTL Infrastructure. Second growth driver would be launch or rollout of LTE and 4G networks uh, by leading operators like Reliance Geo uh, and Airtel. They have already done pre-launch uh, work, uh, rollout has happened partial, few phases are still left. Third growth driver uh, would be auctioning of uh, 
higher frequencies uh, and the subsequent rollout planned uh, rollout networks which are being planned with those frequencies these uh, trigger again a large number of tendencies for digital infrastructure for the next couple of years the fourth growth driver uh, uh, would be a uh, expansion upgradation and improvement of the current voice or 2g network to improve the quality of service which means new cell sites on the ground uh, which include uh, cell sites so company like ours digital infrastructure will directly benefit uh, from uh, these upgradation and uh, lastly uh, expected uh, launch of uh, services by isps uh, which uh, some of the isps are expected to launch the services this year and these are all uh, distinct possibilities uh, given the fact that uh, government of india india's backing to digital india while the growth of the telecom industry has also raised environmental concerns gtl infrastructure makes it a point to support measures laid down by the department of telecommunication as gtl infrastructure we have uh, carried out uh, quite a few initiatives uh, in the recent past Uh, we have increased uh, or enhanced battery uh, backup in a number of sites in our portfolio uh, to ensure these sites uh, move uh, to diesel free sites and therefore we have enhanced the number of diesel free sites in our portfolio uh, we have also aggressively uh, uh, connected those sites which did not have eb uh, with grid connectivity further uh, wherever possible uh, we have uh, started replacing air conditioners uh, which uh, go on to the shelters with uh, free cooling units uh, this again uh, is a step to redu reduce uh, energy consumption uh, as well as uh, reduction in carbon footprint besides being conscious towards the environment corporate social responsibility at global group has been institutionalized as a way of life facilitating through the global foundation uh we've established a foundation way back in 2004 called the global foundation um so the focus areas that we work on is education health disability and uh, community development as far as education is concerned provide scholarship to school kids so we've given about 1400 scholarships this year uh but the most interesting program that really excites me is what we call the education for peace program we empower teachers through a competency based framework on imparting value education to kids so as per ncert they had identified 84 values that kids need to be imbibed with from class 1 to 8 and uh, what we've done is based on those 84 values we've created a, a framework for teacher training and we've now reached out to almost about 56 schools uh, between uh, uh, Ratnagiri that Sindhudurg district uh, Aurangabad and Mumbai we call our uh, employee volunteers as positrons people who emit positive uh, you know kind of electrons um, and the positrons basically uh, part help us with identifying the uh, children for scholarship so they recommend students i think the biggest role that our employees uh, also engage with is through our payroll giving program so we have a payroll giving program internally where employees do contribute a part of their salaries uh, towards uh, the found the global foundation two hours from mumbai a village in alibagh is witnessing tangible social transformations as part of gtl infrastructures csr efforts so what we're doing in alibagh is uh, we revamped the ground floor of a school that was left incomplete you know there were no toilets the flooring was not done there were no lights fans in the school so we we kind of renovated the ground floor and now what we're doing is we're now rebuilding the first floor for them because the the primary section was very small and the uh, local authorities the sarpanch and all approached us to help them with rebuilding the school so we're building a school there and then part of uh, you know the honorable prime minister swachh bharat abhiyan we've started to build toilets in schools yahan pe chota mota shushit for stand up talak school ki zarurat thi school ke liye imarat ki zarurat thi global foundation ke taraf se ek saal ke andar hame acha sa school bana ke diya jisme टॉयलेट और बाजू की सब सुविधाएं जिससे बच्चों को अच्छा एक एजुकेशन मिलेगा 
और अभी मिल मिल सकता है ग्लोबल फाउंडेशन स्कूल के अलावा गांव में जो वृक्षारोपण होता है पानी की समस्या है इसमें भी गांव को अच्छी सहायता मिलती है उनके साथ से अभी हम उसके वजह से इमारत होने के कारण हम सेमी इंग्लिश निकल पाए और उससे अच्छा गांव के बच्चे लोग इंग्लिश उनका इम्प्रूव हो जाएगा और अच्छा इम्प्रूव होने के बाद आज तो इंग्लिश की ज़्यादा ज़रूरत है वो बॉम्बे जाके पुना जाके उनको अच्छी नौकरी सर्विस मिल सकती है और गाँव के लिए भी उसका ज़्यादातर फायदा हो जाएगा from being epc contractors to market leaders in under a decade gtl infrastructures phenomenal rise can be attributed to one instrumental factor but this great ability of retaining its people over decades of time i personally myself have worked for about two decades in this company if you look at gtl infrastructure current management team milind naik who heads that or milind bengali lvy desai bhupen kini आशुतोष चंदात्रे ऑल दिस पीपल हैव वर्क इन द ग्रुप फॉर मोर देन टू डिकेट्स द एडवांटेज दैट वी हैव विद दिस टीम इज दैट सिंस वी दे हैव द एंटायर बैकग्राउंड ऑफ हाउ दिस कंपनी वॉज डेवलप दे फाइंड इट वेरी इजी टू निगोश विद कस्टमर्स टू टॉक टू कस्टमर्स विद कॉन्फिडेंस इन टर्म्स ऑफ वॉट दे कैन डिलीवर एंड हाउ दे कैन डिलीवर एंड कस्टमर्स ऑल्सो अप्रिशिएट देयर फोर्थ कमिंगनेस और their ability to perform on the site people get a chance to grow from within so there is a lot of lateral movement there's a lot of training there's a lot of mentoring that happens in this place so if you see where when i joined in 92 i joined at a very entry level but when i really left them 13 years later in 2005 i was already senior vice president but what drew me back again was the same culture you know we have such a great culture of uh employee mentoring nurturing growing them from within so that's what drew me back uh to come back here so i think uh while uh, you know we've gone through a lot of hard times there are a lot of good things that are also also very internal and intrinsic to this company as they march into the future gtl infrastructure aims to be the world's most efficient an environment friendly tower company